Okay, first up today, talking of Australia, uh, this morning has seen Andy Murray defeat Rafael Nadal in the Australian uh, Open Men's Quarter Final. Yes, huge congratulations. We wish him the very best of luck for the semi final match on Thursday where he's up against Croatia's uh, Martin Cilic. Yeah, we know him. Yeah, we, he's he, been he here, isn't he? We he's a friend, know him. friend of the show. Mm. Congratulations, yeah. Andy. Well done, Andy. 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 All right, mate. Yeah, I had every faith. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, we adopt him as our own again, don't we? He's no longer Scottish. Yeah. He's no. our own yeah. English hero. <laughs> we love him. Yay. Now, talking of fitness, Kerry Katona has been pictured returning to a military-style fit camp in a renewed attempt to lose weight. The former Atomic Kitten star has enjoyed days, apparently, of gruelling exercises after being woken at 5.45am for hikes and obstacle courses under the guidance of army trainers. Now, photos show her almost praying to get through the experience. There she is. So, what physical activity has pushed us to the ultimate limit, ladies? Oh, couldn't possibly say on daytime television. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Apart from that. Um, no, do you know what? I, I, even when I was an exercise maniac, you know, my early 20s, I was really quite obsessed with it. I still never really put myself out. No. You know, no, I never actually... You know, like, you see weightlifters and, and people like that, they're like... I just can't see the point of that. You know, just why don't you just go like that? It does the same effect, you just have to do it for longer. Do you know what I mean? But there was one time when I was on holiday with my sister and um, my younger sister, Tracy, and uh, we were in Marbella. But we weren't actually in Marbella, we were outside of Marbella. And we decided, well, I decided, because we were standing on the beach, and I went, oh, I'd see that down there, it's Porto Benus, so it's only down there. Let's have a walk. So we walked down there. And she went, Oh, OK, then. So we just put on our flip-flops and we started walking down the beach. <laughs> anyway, you know, that's the perspective when you're looking down the coastline. Just round the bay. Well, it did look over there. Yeah. Four or five hours no. later. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it was like 90 degrees of heat. And we're walking oh. down the beach and my poor sister's crying. She's like, I can't go oh, any further. Oh. And I said, come on, come on. We can make it, we can make it. And have you seen that film, <laughs> Ice Cold in Alice? Yeah. yeah. You know, like when they get to their destination the and they sit there... Perfect. And they have that beer, yeah. and we were like that. It was exactly that's about the only time. It's funny because it always happens on holiday as well, doesn't it? For some reason, you, yeah. s you do things you never do normally. Yeah. So, and we, we went to China, we went on the Great Wall of China, and we had a little fancy a little walk on it. Well, and the whole it was, thing. Well, not the whole, but, but <laughs> we had to go. I mean, there was there, there were these organised walks, and you, they don't tell you how long they are because you won't. Because they're Chinese yeah. and they don't speak English, and um, well, most of them do, actually. Well, well, the ones where we went didn't, and mm. they actually we went in a funny old cable car as well. It's probably a bit dodgy the tour guide we had, but anyway, um, we went, we walked, and because it's high up as well, there's no air. You know the altitude, you just mm. can't breathe. So we walked and we walked, and everyone's going all great, taking pictures of a brick wall, you know, a really long brick wall <laughs> going along <laughs> like that, and then you get to a point where actually you look ahead of you and you think. I must nearly be at the end of the, the thing that they've set up for us. And then you look back, and that's equally as far. And you just want to cry, don't you? Yeah. You just want to crumple in a heap. Either way, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Yeah, exactly. I must admit, I did walk up a hill in Wales once. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. No, I really did. And I got halfway up yeah, and sat down and, and cried then. But the worst thing I ever did was I went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and I won't go on any of the rides, you see. So I saw this ride, and little cups with five-year-olds in. So I said to Keely, because I felt embarrassed, I got in the cups with these five-year-olds, and we went up this mountain inside, and it stopped in the dark, and I panicked and got out. And the cup <laughs> went on with the five-year-olds round the corner, <laughs> and it's me in the dark, who don't know what to do, so I'm banging on the mountain, trying to get out. <laughs> and the mountain opened, <laughs> and then it was like, my, I, I can't tell you how far they would, and I was going, oh, no, no, and I had to climb down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, the yeah, all, like all the five-year-olds were going, yeah! <laughs> 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 how can that be? Any, and uh, that's, that's not even close to the physical exhaustion of childbirth. Oh, that yes. is true. That's now, true. that has got to be arguably the there most physically yeah. demanding thing a woman will ever do. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but about you knew what you were doing at the time. You kind of knew <laughs> that it was going to hurt a bit. Carol, yeah. trust me, until yes, you've done you. it... Until you've done it, you no have one told no you. Idea. Yeah, oh. you know it hurts. Yeah, but everyone says it's going to hurt, but they, you can't you believe can't, how much. Put words to it, Carol. It's do you know the what? Worst. So I had an epidural and it still hurts. <laughs> Lucky you, because mine didn't 
work. I tell you, I thought really? I, I said my goodbyes in that delivery room. I did. That's how bad it was. Oh. Yeah, but it's not exactly exhausting, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what it's like to have one. <laughs> Because frankly, you're outnumbered here. It's time for us to have a little breather. But when we return.